Welcome back to OCR MEI for the Mathematics B. Today we're doing Chapter 5.5, Partial Fractions in Series. Last time I've talked about using partial fractions to uh, sum series. Uh, so, actually that's not last time, that's two, well, the, the time, the video before last video. I've talked about how to sum different uh, sum by differences and now I'm we're gonna use partial fractions to do some sums <coughs> most of the time they will give you a fraction in a form that you can break down into partials then you need to kind of reverse engineer back to the um, fraction form such that you can do a series sum of differences so I'm gonna show you how that's done so in this case we have a sum of 1 over n times n plus 1 I'm pretty sure I've set this as one of the questions on that video but uh, anyway it's something similar so you might have done before so uh, I'm gonna do it step by step here so first of all we formulate such that we hypothesize that there's a value a on n add a value b on n plus 1 and when they join together we get 1 on n times n plus 1 so I've got, uh, <coughs> actually this should be R, so my bad, it should be R times R plus 1. So we have A on R, R uh, B on R plus 1 equals to R on R plus 1. So <coughs> first of all we deal with the left hand side which is just to expand it. To expand it we have done a lot of times r plus 1 plus b r equals to 1 uh, and everything is divided by r times r plus 1 which means that they cancel because when you multiply both sides by r times r plus 1 then you get just the top so the top has to be the same which means that um, for some value of r we can prove show a and b so if r is 0 b r is 0 and so we have 1 a equals to just 1 straightforward so if what about in order to find b well we need to make this bracket zero which means that r has to be negative one which means that minus b is equal to one or b equals to minus one so we've got these two sorted now if we put it into a uh, fraction form we have one on r take 1 on r plus 1 series sum to n and this one is clearly a partial well a sum to differences because if you put 1 in well for r equals 1 we have 1 take 1 on 2 for r is 2 we have half take 1 on 3 etc and so everything in the middle cancels and you are left with 1 take 1 on n plus 1 and that would be the solution expand this we have n plus 1 take 1 on n plus 1 gives us just n on n plus 1 as the value of this summation so every partial fraction summations work like this sometimes you have three fractions and you just deal with it the same way as you would 
The most important thing regarding partial fraction sums is uh, when you have more than two uh, fractions or well you have three fractions then <coughs> excuse me try to group up the different parts to get a nice sum because eventually given that we use the stagger staggering method we're gonna have a value of each three then we're gonna have a value of each three then we're gonna have a value of each three and you would notice after the third row uh, you will have a set of three uh, so the first one the second one and the third one uh, they would be on top of each other as long as they sum up to zero that works so these corresponds to uh, correspond to the different uh, bottom fra uh, denominator value so as long as the top sum to zero then you can use this differences method make sure that this time you have three value precursor and three value um, of ends so you will have to take care when trying to do the subtraction of the eventual bits don't cross out these two dots with these two because they wouldn't cancel uh, also when you're stuck don't be afraid to just sub in numbers say uh, I've got 1 on 2 n take 1 take uh, 1 on 2 n plus 1 just tr if you can't see immediately just sub in n equals 1 and n equals 2 n equals 3 and see how it goes it will cancel I promise unless it's not the question type of uh, sum to differences then well you're using the wrong method aren't you once again it's a uh, question uh, question time right so I've got you two questions both of which are partial fraction sums and so I as usual I'll give you five seconds to get these done and I'll show you the answer in five four three two one and here we go with the answers so it's relatively straightforward to do it's um, as long as you have the ability to kind of group things up properly then uh, you would have no troubles spotting that it is sum to differences but in reality when you do these questions uh, you'll have the first part que <coughs> question maybe question A part A uh, express this in terms of partial fractions then on pe uh, section B you're gonna have um, let's see you're gonna be asked uh, hence or otherwise ex uh, find the um, expression sum of that <coughs> fraction so yeah that's it for this video I hope you've learned something <coughs> if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to help you as much as I could but for now thanks for watching and I will see you on my next one